Ah, the scent of grandma's homemade cookies, the comforting hum of her tales, and the unparalleled wisdom that came from a life of experience. Among the stories of her youth, hidden gems of frugal living were passed down. Today, we're diving into 25 old school frugal living tips from grandma that still hold weight in our modern world. One, waste not, want not. Leftovers were transformed into delightful meals. Before discarding, consider if it can be repurposed or reused. Two, home cooked meals. Grandma always said nothing beats a meal made with love. Eating at home not only saves money, but also ensures a healthier diet. Three, use it all. Whether it was the last bit of toothpaste or soap, she'd use it till the very end, extracting every bit of value. Four, hand-me-downs. Clothes, toys, and books got passed from sibling to sibling, emphasizing the importance of sharing and reusing. Five, grow your own food. Grandma's garden was her pride. Growing vegetables and fruits ensures freshness, saves money, and offers unmatched satisfaction. Six, natural cleaners. Lemons, vinegar, and baking soda were her go-to cleaning agents long before the commercial alternatives took over. Seven, darn mend. Instead of throwing away torn clothes, grandma would lovingly mend them, extending their life. Eight, bartering. Exchange goods or services with neighbors and friends. It's an age-old system that builds community and saves money. Nine, cash budget. Envelopes designated for specific expenses kept her in control of her finances, discouraging overspending. 10. Make your own. From jams to knitwear, if she could make it, she wouldn't buy it. 11. Preserving a canning. Seasonal fruits turned into delightful preserves, ensuring flavors were enjoyed all year round. 12. Reduce energy waste. Switching off lights using heavy drapes in winters and natural ventilation in summer's curbed utility bills. 13. Lint luxuries. Treats and luxuries were occasional, making them even more special. 14. Dyed gifts. Handcrafted gifts carried personal touches and often cost less than store-bought alternatives. 15. Shop sales discounts. Grandma was always on the lookout for a good deal, ensuring she got the best value for her money. 16. Conserve water. Collecting rainwater, mindful gardening, and fixing leaks promptly were her ways of respecting this precious resource. 17. Use public libraries. Books, newspapers, and magazines all were borrowed, read, and returned, promoting a culture of sharing. 18. Maintain things. Regular maintenance of appliances, shoes, or tools ensured they lasted longer, avoiding frequent replacements. 19. Buy quality. Investing in good quality items might seem expensive initially, but they often last longer, providing better value over time. 20. Handmade toys, cloth dolls, wooden toys, and imaginative games. Simple yet cherished memories that cost very little. 21. Forage responsibly. Wild berries, nuts, and herbs were occasionally foraged, but always with respect for nature and local guidelines. 22. Use cloth instead of paper. Cloth napkins, handkerchiefs, and rags reduced the need for disposable paper products. 23. Make your own cleaning tools? Old clothes turned into cleaning rags and twigs became broomsticks. 24. Bulk buying. Purchasing in bulk reduced costs and packaging waste. She always said, more is less when you store with sense. 25. Prioritize needs over wants. The fundamental rule of frugality. She gently remind us just because you can doesn't mean you should. Grandma's wisdom was rooted in a deep understanding of value, sustainability, and contentment. These tips are more than just money-saving tricks. They're a window into a lifestyle that prioritized simplicity, mindfulness, and resourcefulness. In a world overwhelmed with consumerism, Maybe it's time we turn back the clock and embrace a bit, a bit of grandma's frugality. After all, the best things in life aren't things. They're memories, lessons, and love.